Hello, uh, my name is Juan Bowen, and I'm uh, one of the clinicians in the Marfan and Thoracic Aortic Clinic at the Mayo Clinic. And I'm going to spend just a few minutes on aortic anatomy and the definition of an aortic aneurysm. Now, the thoracic aorta Hello, my name is Juan Bowen, and I'm one of the clinicians at the Mayo Clinic working in the Marfan and Thoracic Aortic Clinic, and I'm going to discuss uh, aortic anatomy and uh, what the definition of an aneurysm is. So first of all, we're just going to show you where the aorta is in the body, and as you can see, it's the major artery in the body. Uh, you can see a little outline of the heart on the left, and the aorta comes out of the heart and carries the blood out to the rest of the body. And now on the right, you can see the various uh, segments of the aorta. The very beginning of the aorta is called the aortic root. Uh, some people also refer to this to, as the sinuses of Valsalva. And uh, this a part of the aorta is where the coronary arteries arise and go out to supply a blood flow to the heart. <clears throat> Uh, the ascending aorta is the segment immediately above the very small and short aortic root, and the ascending aorta uh, is curved and terminates in the arch. As you can see, uh, the arch is where the vessels that go to the upper extremities and to the head arise. Beyond the arch is the descending aorta. Now, this is still in the thorax above the diaphragm. But below the diaphragm, it's called the abdominal aorta. And as you can see, the abdominal aorta has important branches that go to the abdominal organs, the liver, the spleen, the stomach, uh, the small intestine, the kidneys, the large intestine. And finally, the aorta divides into the iliac arteries, which carry blood down to the pelvis and the lower extremities. Another way to uh, characterize the parts of the aorta is by a numerical system where each aortic uh, segment has a number. And this is particularly useful for surgeons and for vascular interventionalists who do both open and endovascular work in aortic repair. Now there are normal values for the size of each aortic segment, and these are derived from uh, studying uh, many normal individuals, both men and women. And there are tables of uh, normal aortic sizes by age, sex, and body surface area. So in this example, you can see that there are characteristic uh, uh, areas where the aorta is measured, aortic root, ascending aorta, aortic arch, descending aorta. And you can see that the values for men and for women are slightly different, slightly smaller for women than for men. And then, as I said, you can further refine this by uh, considering body surface area and age. Uh, finally, I I'd like to say a word about what aortic ectasia is. And aortic ectasia would be an enlargement of an artery or the aorta which does not quite meet the criteria for aneurysmal enlargement. Uh, on the left, you can see that a branch artery, this would be the artery that goes to the right kidney, is slightly larger than the example above, which is a normal uh, renal artery. And this would be an example of renal artery ectasia. And then on the right, uh, you can see the ascending aorta is slightly enlarged in the bottom diagram compared to the upper, which is the normal one. But this would be an example of aortic ectasia affecting the ascending aorta. And then finally, uh, what is an aneurysm? Well, by definition, an aneurysm would be when an artery or the aorta measures 1.5 times its normal size. And on the left, you can see that this is an aneurysm affecting the aortic root that we saw an image of a normal aortic root earlier. And on the right, you can see that uh, the aortic root is normal,
but above the aortic root, the ascending aorta uh, is aneurysmal. So this, uh, I hope, is uh, an example of what a normal aorta looks like and also what an ectatic artery or ectatic aorta looks like on imaging and also what an aneurysm looks like uh, in these diagrams. And I hope this is uh, useful for you to understand the anatomy of the aorta. So that's it.